everybody, welcome back to the episode last day on our survival. We return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having absolutely a favorite fantastic day today. Today, today, we got action packed. It's like episode number one. We have finally went ahead, we cleaned out the acid bath. So, why don't we go ahead and start hauling over that valuable cargo that we got just the other day? Hello, puppers. How are you guys doing? We're still on our quest for the true friend of trade, but later this week, I hope you guys are sticking around. We are going to be doing just a super ham dog breeding with tons of dogs type of episode but in the meantime we do need to grab this and i'm pretty sure it is going to hurt us i'm pretty sure there are going to be bad guys that start running at us or is that only if we put it down i'm not 100 sure but safety is right here so hopefully we'll be gucci mcswaggins before zombies decide to start showing up did we make it yeah baby we went ahead and we made it so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh the cleansing process on this going then hopefully by the end of the episode we will be able to pop this puppy open and uh see what it contains so for now boop go ahead and pop that in there you guys can see it is going to be into the cleansing process only a measly 20 coins to skip but why don't we go ahead and actually do a raid first that's another thing on the smorgasbord of things to do and even head on over to the bunker with some of these extra ticket crates that we got here so there's a ton of stuff they're going to be knocking out today and we even got new news from kafir that i absolutely can't wait to share with you guys so without further ado let's make sure that we get all the necessities going let's get ready and rear to go for this raid and on the way to the raid i will let you guys know about this and i can't wait to hear what you guys got to say regarding it too because this this is some pretty nutty stuff boys and the girls first things first i gotta find some pretty nutty room to put my stuff away into because there's not really any room right now and i just want some safety jeez louise why is this so hard and all right with that room cleared up let's go ahead let's talk to the raiders here complete the raiding quest hello puppy i wish i could pet you you're so adorable and then we will head out onto our adventure but for now let's just go ahead and vroom on through the rest of these puppies get ready to go and go on a raid because for whatever reason there was no revenge raid today so we are still at that level four threat of attack just that nothing has happened to us so far in the time being but i hope you guys are an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day and after you guys hear about this i think it's gonna get more fan freaking fantastic so uh boom kafir just earlier today actually tweeted out this photo saying here's a here's a little here's a new portion of yummies whatever that means from our concept artist take a look at the early version versions of a protective suit where do you think it will come in handy so what we are seeing here is the early versions of some sort of protective suit and here's the thing lately you guys know what i've been talking about right last couple of days and even in the last i think dev blog kafir said that all their focus has been turning to the dark zone slash multiplayer and that's what they've been working on a lot they're going to be showing new sneak peeks as we move forward well i think the radioactive suit right here might be a perfect example of that so if you guys are looking at the screenshot you should be seeing a variety of different suits over on the left it looks like three different ones i don't know if that's maybe just different variants or different sketches and they'll end up picking one of these for the final version because it doesn't seem like there are massive differences between them except like maybe the amount of yellow that's on each one i don't know that's the best thing that i can get but if you guys look over on the right it looks like there's some sort of special radioactive backpack and then if you guys look at the top there's some sort of like I, I i don't want to call that a calculator but it kind of looks like a calculator attached to his armband you know maybe it's like a fitbit i don't know what it is dude he should be wearing that on his wrist but regardless you got something up there going around with that like pack what whatever that might be i have honestly zero clue what that could be but potentially with the backpack on the back i think we might end up needing a special backpack for whatever this radioactive zone is now whether that's going to be certain zones in the dark zone slash multiplayer where you do need a radioactive suit to go ahead and go through because we have seen a uh, power arm armor in the sneak peeks of the radio at not radioactive but the dark zone so potentially the dark zone will be this area that you know maybe does require different suits in different sections maybe there's radioactive sections that require a hazmat suit like a protective suit like this something along those lines because or maybe it's just going to be a random radioactive event coming either or though it's still awesome to see this and awesome to see this because it means that something there's going to be a reason for this radioactive suit it's to come and i'm thinking that that backpack might be some sort of special backpack backpack you need to potentially carry your goods in without getting them like contaminated or something along those lines i because i don't really know why you need a special backpack for the suit you know except for maybe you know if you're trying to get stuff out of the radioactive zone maybe you put there in that backpack and it stops the radiation from spreading so that lets you like transport it home and somehow maybe 
clean it in the acid bath or some sort of like unradioactivity doing thingy ma bob but so that's just my ideas i would love to hear from y'all in the comments section down below what you think of this how excited it's got you and how you think it'll be implemented maybe even what you guys think regarding my ideas stuff like that and remind the comments what you're throwing away and so we get 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure you subscribe that will ensure you would on today's video i'll connect around every single last day on earth video in existence when saturday rolls around we pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from a random video and that is the winner for that week and we also go ahead and kick off a new weekly giveaway every saturday as well so make sure notification bell is hit so you know when all the new videos are coming not just so i'm covering all the new updates all the newest news but also so y'all can make sure to enter on into the giveaway but with that said and with that done let's go ahead and fast forward our way over here to venom here's the thing venom this it seems like i think i've i feel like i've raided this base before Am I crazy? I think I've raided Venom before. I think this might be a comeback. I, I I just don't know what to expect out of here. Oh, I did only bring four iron hatchets. I think we might have a couple in our inbox. Worst case, but we'll see how this goes. Maybe minimal things need to be broken. Hopefully the game doesn't freeze when I'm trying to go into the raid. Can you do that for me, game? Can I please load into the raid and have some fun? I'd appreciate that. If you guys know what I'm talking about in the last episode, we did the most impossible raid known to mankind, where apparently the game's just like, no, no, you can't enter this space. No, no, no do this. No, hey, there we go. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. We are actually going on into here. And what type of a base is this? I, I said this seemed familiar. I don't think this seems familiar anymore. This is a full stone base that we are witnessing we have his welcome mat over there honestly i might just kind of break through where the doors are i i don't want to play with the odds here unless maybe we can get our hands on part of the wall where it's not stone but ow also gotta be careful for that i don't know if i see that happening right now so i think maybe we just try he's probably just has this huge layer of stone on the outside he can't have much more protection than that can he? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to see and uh, hope for the best because if the best doesn't come, we're going to get a little bit screwed. Does he have a chop? Ooh, he does have a chopper. That's always... Oh, this is a nice chopper too. A little cheetah. A little leopard print, but that's usually a pretty promising sign. I don't care about your sip gun, however, a kind sir and or madame. Instead, I care about blowing my way into the space. So bless up that we brought this 2C4 that's going to be coming in super mega and handy. But uh, also later on in the episode, we'll be going to the bunker to open up some ticket crates as well. That's why I have the tickets. So tons of loot to be added today between the raid, between the infected crate, between what the bunker will contain, and uh, maybe more after that. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's enter into the base and make a whole ton of noise. Boom! Oh my god, are you serious? Oh no. Oh no! This is what it's gonna be like? Oh, cheeky. I knew I shouldn't have broken into that. Oh, I was thinking, I was thinking exactly that. I'm like, you know what? This is the only door. He probably is a specific, like, defense to prevent this. And, and what do you know? He's got another freaking level three wall. Dude, if he has even more behind this one, uh... This is going to be pretty bad, but this, the, the payoff better be good. Because A, those raiders are expecting something, and B, I'm expecting something. I freaking want something over here, man. And if he's got this much protection, my hopes are high. So let's hope for the freaking best. Please actually open the base up. There we go, baby. That's an open room. Or should I say, that's an open base. Most of an open base, except... For some sort of interior area over there. Dude, that's gotta be where his best stuff is. No! Are you serious? We're that close to getting the awesomeness within. And we mess up. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot because that's 157.9% where his best goodies are. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. No, I don't think he has anything good in those three chests. I'm telling you guys right now, 100%. This man's best goods and I, I, 200 engine parts. 200? He has this entire... Dude. Either this was a hacker or this is literally an absolutely ridiculous base. Either or... I don't know if we have any C4 chilling, but I do know what we can do, and I, I I usually wouldn't do this, but this might this might literally be the craziest base 
we've ever witnessed, so we might need to go a little bit overboard. We might need to try and, uh, get some packs for unlockings, and boys and girls, start crossing your fingers right now. We need some C4 explosive. We need it badly, like, uh, VSS would be nice too, but... Ho! Oh. Uh, we're gonna be doing a quick impromptu unboxing here, so if you give me a sec, I'll go ahead and pop open some of those packs and talk to y'all in a sec. We'll pop them open together, no worries about that. Dude, that just hurts so much though, because if we broke into literally any other wall, if we like, just right here even, mmm. That's painful, man. If we broke into here, we would have had that extra C4 to spare. I, I might honestly start bringing three C4, no, like, we just, mmm. On one hand, the doors are good, but they can be bad. I just, I just don't know, dude. It's got me confuzzled. But over here in our inventory, we do have 20 of these packs for unlocking. Uh, guys, I really need you to cross everything you got. We need a C4 because this raid... I, I, I don't even know if I want the stuff. I just want to see what's on the other side of that wall. I think you guys can agree. There's some crazy stuff that has to be lying on the other side. So we do have 17 more packs for unlocking here for us to go through. And hopefully the C4 is in one of them because I, it is extremely rare though. So maybe it won't be, but a Kafir pack gods, luck gods of last day, just for the love of everything. If there's ever one time, to give your boy Papa Star a C4. Please, make make this that one time. You know, before my dude starves IRL too, because he's probably going kind of hungry just opening up these packs. But still, man, please, please, what could lie on the other side of here could be game changing, dude. Because this, I don't know, 100% it, it, it could be legit, right? But, dude, 200 engine parts, not even I have 200 engine parts. That stuff's nutty to get, and we're already halfway through the unboxing. No C4 yet. Oh, no, no, no. Please. Please do me a solid this one time. This one time, Kafir. Like, we used to have really good luck. Honestly, when it comes to grenade launchers as the extremely rare, we have ridiculously good luck. But now that it's a C4, our luck is awful. Please, just, just, just one. We got six more to go. Worst case, I, I might pop open a couple more after this because I just need to see what's on the other side there. I need to. And we're not getting the C4 for it. Honestly, we're barely even getting very rares. I feel like just the odds, the luck has gone down. Oh, come on, game. Plus, plus, I opened up a good chunk. You can give me one, one C4 to spare for, for, for just a low, lowly star like me. Please? Please? Plus? Ah! Damn. All right, boys. I... I, I, I don't just want to keep buying them, but I, I do want to, I, I, uh, all right, boys, I, I say came, we got to, a, after this, though, honestly, I just, it just, it's such an, it's such a bad odds of getting C4, like, it's just, this is not the best way, I just wish I brought an extra, but when I realized that this air, like, mm, we just did things in the most unfortunate way imaginable, but hopefully the pack luck gods will have some mercy and after opening up 40 packs for unlocking, hey, at the same time, we haven't done a pack unboxing in a while, so I guess a little bit of a double whammy in that part, but hopefully the pack gods, specifically the pack for unlocking gods, smile down upon us and grant us one c4 i don't think i've ever gotten a c4 from opening this crate actually so you know like it's about time i got one you know what i'm saying game please just please do do a solid here i'm already five in man no no don't do this come on just one one why is that so much to ask watch like we're gonna end up opening those three chests that were over here in the base and they're gonna have like I don't, dude, if, if they have a C4, that'd be pretty perfect, actually. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. Instead, uh, the game is going to continue hating us because as of late, dude, I feel like the game hates us. It just doesn't doesn't want us to win. They don't want you to win. And I mean, if they, if they don't give me the C4, it's pretty hard for us to win in this case. It just, the things that could be on the other side of there, man. Untold riches, potentially. But we just didn't bring one enough, like, we just didn't use our C4 right. And that's why yeah, some like I like following doorways sometimes because like they have to lead to something. But at the same time, they like the people defending their base know that they're like, all right, they're going to follow the doorways because they know that's the way I got to go. Maybe they defense it some more. And next thing you know, I end up accidentally using a C4 when I shouldn't have. And next thing you know, we're over here opening up boxes, getting severely disappointed. And uh, 
we won't be able to break in unless a miracle happens on the final pack for unlocking. Well, damn. Ugh. I mean, may maybe there's okay... <coughs> I had to cough a little bit. Maybe there's okay stuff here, but... Honestly, after having seen the amount of defenses that guy has... There's nothing in these trunks, dude. There's nothing. Not a single... His entire base is in here. You can even see the windows that lead to it. You can see the chests over in that area, because he doesn't have chests anywhere else. Ah! Alright, last, last time. Guaranteed right now. Last time that I'm succumbing to the freak... To the, 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 uh, I just really want to show you guys what's on the other side, because I'm telling you, if this man has invested 200 engine parts, like, uh, there's a good chance that this is a hacker, man. There's a solid chance, and if there is, can you just imagine the riches that will be on the other side of there? And I just want to show you guys this raid, because last episode, the raid gods were just like, no raid for you, and for this raid to end up like this, with the promise of riches right on the other side of some stone, it's, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's hard. It hurts the heart, and it's just the bigger pack unboxing, too, so uh, double and or triple whammy. Although, can I just please get this game i need the c4 all right can you like uh, this is just showing to you guys do not buy these packs man they are just if you're trying to get any of those three things in the bottom your odds at getting them are bad all right you guys have seen how many packs that i've just opened just now right i mean we're about to hit the 50 mark what have we gotten i think two very rares not worth it unless you're feeling hella lucky in which case you do you but i'm telling you guys right now i don't think that hella luck is gonna be enough to beat the odds on these packs because another 10 in and our luck is still looking as awful as ever get plenty of ak's dude those are so helpful i like how these are called packs for unlockings packs for raiding we're getting the one gun that like doesn't help us out like these two things help us with raids this I, I don't, no one's using an unsilenced AK on a raid, because that's just going to draw so much attention to yourselves. I guess on an okay other side of news, you're going to have a lot of hatchets on the easy access, but no C4 game. Who, what you want me to do? I'll do it. Oh, what you want me to do? I'll, what you want me to go take care of? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go babysit your kids. I don't know if you have kids. Jurassic Survival, I'll go babysit them. You know, something, just, I, like, please, one C4, this one time. It's like me bargaining with the game, the game just doesn't listen. Alright, why don't we try some reverse psychology here. Game, don't give me a C4. Crap. Alright, this isn't working, man. I, I just, like, we just might need to take the L on this. I am 100% all the time from now, I'm bringing 3C4 to every freaking raid I do, because this is just... There's not going to be anything in the chest. We're literally walking out of here with nothing after having used 2C4. I don't want to do that. I, like, I don't want to use 2C4 just for nothing to happen. Like, I, I we already broke into this one. Absolutely nothing. I doubt these are going to have anything. This guy's base is loaded. Like, ah, it hurts. It hurts so much. All right, but, like, ugh. listen, I, I still got some gift card money left. No worries, I don't mind spending it because I just want to show you guys what's on the other side of this raid because I'm telling you, like, I've never seen someone with an ATV that completed. This is ridiculous. This is next levels of how good this raid could be. And I am 100% regardless of the outcome. Outcome's probably going to be the same here. And again, just don't buy these packs. You guys are seeing firsthand why you're, you're not going to get luck. Unless you want some of these things, then that's a different story maybe. If you want these things... I don't know if I'd recommend after opening up 60 packs and about to be 80 of the packs for unlockings. Haven't even gotten one extremely rare C4 and we've gotten maybe three very rares. That's a rough idea. I can make that four, but that's a rough idea of the odds, you know, like roughly right here, the odds that I'm experiencing, maybe one out of 20 packs, roughly you'll get a very rare. The C4, that's probably like less than a 1% chance of getting. It's got to be something crazy like that because like we're, what, 66 deep in right now? Haven't even had a hint, a lick of the extremely rare. Not to mention all the older packs for unlockings we've done as well. And I just, there's, I, is this going to happen again? I, if, 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 if it doesn't work after this, guys, I'm sorry. I, I just, it's, it's not going to happen if we're this deep in. 
It's just not gonna happen. Or maybe we do 20 more to call it even at 100. I don't know. I just... Mm, game. I don't think the game's gonna do it, dude. I don't think it is. It's just showing off how bad packs are. Jesus. I haven't opened these puppies in a while. I remember why. <laughs> like, dear God, if you're actually trying to get one of those three things on the bottom, holy hell, fam. Talk about awful luck. Like, bless up that we got all that stuff in our inbox. And I, have to, I didn't worry about packs for a while, but... Jeez Louise, dude. Like, you guys are seeing this luck firsthand. We're about to be 80 deep. Not one C4. This is ridiculous. You know what would be whack and they didn't say? What if you're on a raid and, like, you can't pull the C4? And they just, like, didn't say. That'd be awful, dude. That'd be crazy. Because, I mean, opening up these boxes in the middle of a raid are kind of handy. Because you do get, like, the hatchets, maybe, if you're running short. Uh, we are not going to be short on hatchets for a very long time, by the way. But... Uh, like the C4 just on the other side of here, the temptation, the tease, man. I just want it. Bliss, give it to me. I don't want to accept defeat, but my wallet is more than ready to accept it. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, at this point, this is the last 20 that we are doing. Now, if you guys are wondering how I am able to do this in the first place, no, it's not because I'm financially irresponsible, but it is because of AppZone, actually, and the gift cards that I do get through that. If you guys want yourselves, link in the description to go and get AppZone going for yourself. It literally lets you play games, like, actively, like, every five minutes, you, like, every five minutes of playing a game, you get some points, and uh, if you guys do click through my link, you actually, uh, I'm partnered with AppZone, which is pretty freaking awesome, and what it will do is you guys will actually help uh, get me gift cards, which I then use to put towards videos, and also also put towards uh, the giveaways of the weekly variety and no worries those are gonna be going the fact that we just opened a hundred freaking packs for unlocking is not gonna oh no 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 more no more that's not gonna affect the facts of the weekly giveaways uh, but I think we have exposed just how awful the odds are it's crazy too dude like we've opened up 12 like 12 packs before and gotten extremely rares pretty consistently like a lot more consistently than this and that's just not happening anymore that uh, it wasn't meant to be and if after a hundred we don't get this extremely rare like, I wonder if they made it like even harder to get extremely rare items because this is 100% the most elusive c4 and or just like purple of my life this is crazy this is next level type of stuff that we haven't been able to to get it one time and we've been able to get the AK like have we even gotten one VSS it's just an AK every single time like damn yeah from now on 100% 3C4 for every ra oh plenty of AKs thanks game that's definitely why I'm buying packs you, you know me so well I want the AKs I want every AK possible in my inventory thank you so much for just being a psychic and reading my mind. I'm literally like just living at this base, at this dude's base at this point. You know, it's crazy, but wow. That's, I, that's actually unbelievable. 95 packs in and we can't get an extremely rare. 100% we're going to get to 100 and nothing's going to happen. That just showed, dude, I think the C4 in this pack might be rarer than the freaking chopper gas tank. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Absolutely redonkadonk. With how many we've opened? Like, I know it took me way less ticket crate openings to get a chopper gas tank out of a ticket crate. Right? We've opened this puppy way too many times. To no avail. Well, with that, uh, there's the utter disappointment known as the fact that this dude probably has such godly stuff. Look at this! A fully completed ATV. And because of the fact that we decided to blow into here first and we didn't bring a third C4. Everything is falling apart. These things are gonna have nothing except be traps, but so be it. We gotta break into something, right? This might, might as well, dude. And then we just get the hell out of here. So ain't that just fat? All right, you know what? That's uh, it's something. Thanks for that. I'm gonna have to give it all to the Raiders. because They're gonna be like, there was way better stuff over there. You disappoint us, star. Give us everything in your possession. I'm just gonna be like, Raiders, square up. Come at no. I don't want them to actually square up and come at me because they, they they're, they're spooky. And I, it's it's pretty hard to kill the Raiders. You have to like get them to a certain amount of damage and then shoot them with a grenade launcher. Like, the raiders that come and attack you with, like, the timer on? Like, two hours? Yeah, no. But, uh, yeah, no to that. Wow. Just wow. And it sucks, too, because when I realized... Mm, 
As soon as we blew open that first G4, it was too late. We couldn't come back, but uh, thank you, Venom, I guess, for the dual Berettas. Dude, that's crazy. If he just had dual Berettas and a fully mounted AK just chilling outside of his base, could you guys imagine what was inside? That goes to show if any of you guys raid Venom, just be aware of what that man has. And be aware, don't break through the door. Don't do it. All right, no. No. Don't do that. You want to break through, like, that lower right-hand section, kind of where there's no spikes. That will get you in minimal amount of noise. And if you bring two C4, you should be good. But from now on, dude, that's... Uh, we. That's the most painful raid I think we've ever done. It hurts. It hurts. At least we should get some more C4 back from that affected box. Uh, maybe it's, like, two to three. Don't remember exactly how much. These raiders, dude, I, I hope you guys aren't expecting much. I got much. Not bad, you can do what you want. You like water? You like water here? Seems true. All right, I'm gonna drink one of that water. There you go. Thanks for the great raid, Raiders. Really, the one time they give us a godly, 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 the godliest of all godly raids. And we just luck out and make the worst decision possible. Like, honestly, we could have broken through even spikes and broken through a stone wall and been fine. But for some reason, I just had to go with the doorway. Honestly, we're skipping through this. What do we have here? At least we got a grenade launcher and some C4 and some steel plates and some redemption out of the infected box. Dude, that's like, infected boxes are so good. Five steel plates, five copper bars. So that's like 10 steel plates when we refine them. Extra engine part, freaking grenade launcher. All things considered, pretty dope if you ask me. But um, anyways, we can probably start stockpiling stuff back in here and... Ah, oh, it's just painful, man. That hurts. It heights. It really heights. But let's go and grab those tickets that we needed. Head on over to the bunker and see what that contains. But at least the infected crate had good stuff. And it, it, let's just pretend that that raid never happened. Because what could have been? Maybe we'll come across that base again. I'm pretty sure that's possible. We've definitely come across doubles of a base before. And this is just a huge warning to you guys. If you find Venom, you want to bring two C4, maybe more, and just know where to place it. You definitely want to do that, but let's go over to the bunker and maybe maybe some chess openings over there will help us out. The bunker's already open for when we open it up last time to redeem the floppy disk and get the infected box. So that's good news, but still lots of other heartbreaking news going on today. Oh, dude, that... That seriously hurts. That's painful. That's painful. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to live with myself knowing that, dude. That's the one time. That's the one true raid that escaped us. And then yesterday's raid that escaped us, too. Like, damn. I'm just at a loss for words. I'm just thinking about it. If that man had a dual Beretta, fully modded AK, just chilling out in the chest, if that's what he used as bait to get the raiders to like take like leave revenge raid stuff, dude, I don't even know what to think at that point. That's spooky. That's spooky what that man actually must have been protecting. What we actually could have raided if this game freaking had solid luck on its transactions, but no. For real, seriously, don't buy these things, guys. Don't. It's you guys just saw firsthand how ridiculous the odds are. Like, if it's extremely rare, I don't know. I feel like it's worse odds than it used to be because before, we actually used to get the extremely rare stuff sometimes. Now, after opening a hundred packs for unlocking, uh, that's a yeah no. That's a yeah no from me. Mm -mm, don't think so. <laughs> God damn, let's we'll just go ahead and open up these crates though and see if they have some stuff. I mean, can they have the probably hundreds of engine parts we would have got, dude? Hmm. Mm. Well, here's the thing. If it's a hacker, he could have had a steel base too. Or, here's the thing. I don't know if that, that dude might not have been playing lately at the same time. Because you do just randomly raid random base. Oh, get out of here, fast fighter. I don't want to deal with you. I'm pretty sure you do just raid random bases, but... I, like, I, even, like, if someone hasn't accepted raiding or, like, accepted the fact that they want to be raided, I think their base can still be raided, but it just won't steal anything unless they are at a threat level. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to hypothesize here, but, uh, hey, at least we got an M16 out of, out of that crate. 
That's nifty. That's nice. Let's get the survival kit terminal popped on open over here and see if this has any redeeming qualities. Hey! A little bit of shotgun rain, but it's just hard to get hype when you knowing the raid, the one that got away, was right there. But uh, with that and with all the time that we spent trying to get that raid to work, unfortunately, I have uh, come to the time where I got to start sprinting to class and getting over there. I spent way longer than I thought because, well, it took a lot of time. A lot of time to get those boxes. A lot of time to get hit by that disappointment. But so I hope you guys are having a more fabric fantastic day than that. But that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys uh, not opening up any of those packs. Best of luck. Get the chopper gas tank over here from this place. Best of luck with your raids. Hope that you don't get the awful luck like I did. Dude, that just hurts because... Uh -huh. If we literally broke into any other wall, we would have been golden and we would have gotten to that chest room. That's painful, but uh, that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Make sure that you guys spread that vitamin P. Like I said, best of luck with Chapa Gas Tank. Best of luck with your raids. Best of luck with the puppy breed. And hopefully best of luck and having better luck than I had today. But so most importantly of all, just have a favorite fantastic day for me. If I, if I know that, that'll make up for the fact we just got swerved hard by last day on earth but uh, that's gonna do it for me thank you guys all for watching have yourselves a fantastic day and i'll talk to you next one see ya